And talking about percentages and estimation, uh, in our real world link on music, we actually we talked about actual percentage, how we can estimate those percentages to make an easier fraction for us to work with. Uh, so it's helpful, uh, especially to focus in on these one-fifths and one-fourths because those are pretty easy ones to remember, plus they're very compatible with a lot of different um, numbers. So if we have one-fifth, we know that's 20%, and we can go back to our bar diagrams yesterday to review that, uh, because I think the bar diagram showed this. And then we have two-fifths, which is 40%, three-fifths is 60%, and so on. We can also take our quarters in money as well with our one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters, which is a full dollar or 100%, 100 pennies. Okay? So we want to take that idea and apply it to estimating. And so there's two ways we could do this. Method one, using fraction method, in which we take those compatible numbers and we use the fraction and multiply and then simplify. And so this means approximately. So I have 3 fifths, which is 60%, times that 500 is 3 times 100 is equal to 300. So it's approximately equal to 300 without actually having to uh, worry about the, um, the details of the math. Uh, method two, we can first find the 10% of the number and then multiply. And I will show you what that looks like with a, an application problem uh, that's extremely relevant to the real world. Third, we want to be able to use this methodology for percentages that are greater than 100% and percentages that are less than 1%. So we did a little bit of this yesterday. We have 122% of 50. Well, we can actually break that down into the 100%, which is pretty easy. That's still 50. And then 20%, because that's a lot easier to remember. That's a compatible number. I know that's going to be 1 -fifth, and I can easily simplify that and get 10 because I divided the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator, by 5. So 50 plus 10 is approximately 60. And that is greater than 50, which is what we started with because the percentage is greater than 100%. Finally, if we have a quarter of a percent, that's less than 1%. So it might be easier to start with that 1%. I rounded this to 800 because I know 1% of 800 is 8. Remember, 10% of 800 is 80. Therefore, I can then take the one quarter of that simplified answer of 8 and get approximately 2. And 2 is a really tiny number compared to 800. So that seems to be reasonable for our answer. Finally, the application problem that I like so much is that Maritza and four friends ordered pizza that cost $14.78. She is responsible for 20% of the bill. About how much money will she need to pay? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and round the money this time to about $15. It makes it an even number to work with. Uh, and I happen to know that 20% is can easily go into $15. But say I didn't know that. I can just take 10% of the $15, which means I just move it over one place value because it's 1 power of 10, and I get $1.50. But remember, 10% is only half of 20%. So how do I get from 10% to 20%? I multiply by 2. And so I can take my answer of 150 and multiply by 2. And I get $3. And so therefore, Moritz's part of the bill is approximately $3. And again, approximate because we're estimating. So in summary, remember that we want to find compatible numbers from our percentages, use those to find our answers a little more quickly, and be able to simplify a little quicker, and to check for reasonableness, does 300 seem to make sense? If I have six, about 60% of 500, I know 50% of 500, which is half, is 250, then that seems to be reasonable. Also consider things that are greater than 100% and less than 1%. And this is something that happens a lot when we go out to eat with our friends or family.